is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and welcome back to Sketch Sunday. So this sketch I am taking a little bit different of an approach. I have done several wreaths with it, but today I am pulling out the Scrapping Reflections um, Mandalis uh, stencil, the large one. She has a small one too. And um, I'm like, I wonder if I could do some stencil printing with it. So um, I'm basically going to make two backgrounds with it, which is kind of fun when you're making stencils. So um, Sandy from State Goddess has great tutorials on stencil printing. Don't use this one as your like go-to by any means, but um, it does work enough. So I have a couple of Brutus Monroe glitter glazes. One is in falling snow and one is in gold. And I'm just putting them on in a few places because I love the texture of it um, and the sparkle. And yeah, yeah, I, I just thought that's going to be really good for stencil printing. And I'm doing it on a piece of navy background. And it is from the project pad of the Indigo and Ivy. So then I am taking some sprays. So this one is Mr. Huey's in white and then some gold Heidi Shine. So I sprayed the white and I wanted to spray the gold, but um, my nozzles don't work anymore. So I decided splatters it was. So I was like, well, I need more on top of the stencil. So I grabbed some navy and I am going to spray that on the stencil. And then I'm going to take this piece of paper. I think it's pink. And I decided I wanted to do half and half. So I am basically doing the stencil printing there. So I'm just smushing it down. And so you can see it kind of comes out, but not in a, not the greatest. And here is the reveal of this, and this worked beautifully. So I did have quite a big glob of um, Heidi Shine there in the middle, but I'm going to cover it up so I'm not worried about it. So there was what both of them looked like dry. So the stencil and then the stencil printing. And then I have these three pictures, and one is of my husband and daughter and they are dancing in our driveway because we were hanging out in the driveway for some reason this day and then my son is on this like itty bitty bike um riding around so i'm just sitting in a chair like totally watching my goofy family um taking pictures so that's what these pictures are just kind of some some fun moments. So I am using my How to Kill a Kit with style as far as like embellishments go. So I pulled that beautiful gold scallopy piece and put that up at the top. And then I am pulling my title from the uh, Wood Veneer Hip Kit Club pieces, the reel. And then um, the other is Little Stories. So this is going to be real little stories um, as far as my title goes. And that was my exercise app that just informed me I haven't exercised in 27 days. Hmm. Yeah, I really do need to do that. But let's be honest. Hmm. Do I work out? Do I scrapbook? Do I work out? Do I scrap? Like, that's just like a given. Like, who's, who's going to? Oh, and now someone's calling me. Hold on. Yeah, I'll talk to her later. <laughs> So yeah, like who's going to choose to work out instead of scrapbook? Any of my subbies? Anybody? Anybody? Okay, well that's not me. So in the meantime, I have backed my photos with some tissue paper and scrap pieces of paper. I have added a couple of um, dark navy pieces, one that says wonderful, um, that little banner. I don't know what that one says. Uh, a floral piece, a heart, two hearts, and then a couple more wood pieces. So the wood camera, the wood like little speech bubble with a heart because um, Lucas's face is funny. 
I'm using my last clip from my How to Kill a Kit with Style with the heart, and I'm going to slap that right up on top of this. Um, and to kind of where that space is above the house. Um, and then I have a couple of these clear stickers. I have almost killed this sheet, you guys. Like, so close. I think I can do it before the end of the month. Barely. I mean, I don't know. I know I don't have much time left. <laughs> I am not killing this kit as much as I had hoped, but I have loved what I have done with it. So... I'm like, I figure that's a win. Like, you don't have to, when you make a kit, you don't have to kill it. I know we're trying to kill our kits and use our stuff and get those pieces documented, but you know what? If you still got pieces left over, that's okay. That's why we have stash. And man, do I love my stash. Yes, I love to look at it. I love to touch it. Um, I even love to touch, okay, I was going to say other people's stash, which just sounds really weird, but um, there's something about scrapbooking supplies, like, you just got to touch them. They're, they're like those kid books where it had all those textile things, you know, you'd get the, the monkey with the fur and you could pet the fur and the lizard with the scales and you could, yeah, that's how I feel about all scrapbooking supplies. Like, they just need to be touched like that that's the thing. That's why I don't think I could ever do digital. Like I need the textural elements about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. A digital sequin like that, that just can't work. I don't think so. Okay. So <laughs> now my layout's pretty much done. Um, and I am going to kill these Spiegel Mom scrap sequins in winter mist. So I just put down my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive and I am going to grab the sequins with my crystal katana and stick them down. So while I have been babbling about everything, while I sit here in line waiting to pick up my kid from school, you know, perfect time for a voiceover, right? Like we just have to do things when we can do things. So that's, that's real life. That, that's, that's my real life right now. Um, make sure you head over to Moira's channel and see what she did with this sketch. And then Amber over on Instagram, I already have an idea of what she is doing. So I'm super excited to see it all done. And, um, as always, Christy's link is to her channel is down below because um, if you want to go back and look and see her take on this, um, I think it's super fun since she was the one that kind of started this whole thing. And this is going to be our last uh, Sunday sketch revisited because, oh my goodness, Moira and I have gone crazy with Christy again. And we are doing 30 days of sketches with her. So for the month of October, you will get the sketches. And Amber, I believe, is going to continue playing along on Sundays. So you will head over to Instagram on Sundays and check her out with those. Um, and there's so many people playing along, um, this month, which is super exciting. That just means so much inspiration. Um, there will be a hashtag for that so that you can play along with us as well. Um, and then if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, I would love to chat with you. Um, Oh, I forgot I added these sequins too. The, these are metallic something. I forget what they are right at the moment. If you need to know, um, I can totally tell you. I have gone through my sequins lately and I have like 20 bags of almost gone sequins. So I have put them in a bin, um, mostly inspired by Christy trying to use up some of her sequins, but I have like 20 packages in a bin. Um, and I am going to try to finish them off because they're pretty much almost done and they are absolutely beautiful. So there I go putting more. <laughs> when in doubt, 
add sequins. Still thinking it needs something? Just add more sequins. <laughs> Okay, so that is my layout for you guys today. I have some amazing close-ups where you can see that glitter paste um, through the stencil as well as the misting so you can get a really good idea of how that looks as well as the final project there. So that's going to do it. Remember to wear your crown and we'll see you soon. Bye!